मॉर्निंग एवरी वन हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द वीकली कमोडिटी ऑडियो कास्ट आई एम कायना चैन वाला फ्राम कोटक सिक्योरिटीज़ कमोडिटी रिसर्च डेस्क एंड लाइक इन एवरी एपिसोड वी विल बी नेविगेटिंग थ्रू लेटेस्ट डेवलपमेंट्स इन द कमोडिटी मार्केट्स इवेंट्स अफेक्टिंग मार्केट सेंटिमेंट्स एंड एक्सप्लोर द लेटेस्ट ट्रेंड्स इन दिस डायनामिक वर्ल्ड ऑफ कमोडिटीज सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टड द एंड टू द फर्स्ट क्वार्टर ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर हैज कम ऑन अ वेरी इंप्रेसिव नोट एज गोल्ड एंड एक्विटीज ग्लोबल एक्विटीज हिट रिकॉर्ड हाइज कैपिंग ऑफ द फर्स्ट क्वार्टर ऑन अ positive note boosted largely by reassurance from central banks on rate cuts s&p 500 gained more than 10% in the first quarter marking its strongest first quarter performance since 2019 similar gains were seen across european indices coming to asian markets Jap- japan's nikkei surged 20% buoyed by hints that broader monetary policy will still remain largely accommodative while chinese markets closed with just a marginal upside as lingering real estate crisis and subdued domestic demand weighed on investor sentiments talking about dollar index dollar held above 104 levels during the last week of the first quarter as markets remained wary ahead of us core pc amid expectations that inflation probably remained uncomfortably high in february also several fed officials namely fed reserve bank of atlanta rafael bostic fed reserve governor lisa cook and fed governor governor christopher waller backed argument for delayed of fewer rate cuts this year Swap traders trimmed bets on Fed easing to above about sixty percent for a June rate cut. Dollar closed the first quarter with three percent upside as economic data from the U.S. underpinned a resilient picture. GDP and consumer spending in the U.S. posted strong advances of three point four percent and three point three percent respectively in the last quarter of twenty twenty three, and consumer sentiment surged to seventy nine point four, which is the highest since July twenty twenty one towards March end. Gold witnessed an unprecedented rally and advanced in all the sessions in the holiday shortening week, supported by falling U.S. Treasury yields and safe haven bids. Comex Gold historic rally to two to five six dollars per ounce helped the yellow metal close the quarter with approximately nine percent gains, while gold surged four percent weekly. Uh, gains in silver were limited to one percent amid mixed trend in industrial metals. Uh, on the price action front, MCX Gold June on the daily chart has witnessed a V-shaped recovery, surging above its previous swing high and has registered a new high. If it sustains above Rs. sixty-seven thousand four hundred, it can push the counter to its next resistance placed to above uh, placed at Rs. sixty-eight thousand three hundred. uh crude oil prices uh, uh talking about wti crude oil it not only witnessed robust advances for the month of march but also closed the quarter with an impressive 16.5% gain thanks to opec plus output cuts and anticipation of lower interest rates signs that russia is complying with opec production pl- pledge as it shifts the emphasis of its cuts from exports to production may prompt further rise in oil prices On the other hand, CME Natural Gas has witnessed nearly 30% downside in the first quarter owing to sluggish heating demand amid exceptionally mild winter, ample storage levels and subdued economic activity in Europe. On the daily chart, MCX Natural Gas April has formed a spinning top candlestick pattern indicating a probable reversal. In addition, RSI 14 is hovering above around 32 levels, suggesting that the counter is oversold. A breach above rupees one forty eight point two levels can trigger a short covering in the counter until the next resistance, which is placed at rupees one fifty five point five. Also, most base metals ended the quarter on a weaker note as markets remain skeptical about uh, Chinese economic recovery amid lack of uh, strong policy signals from China and uncertainty regarding pickup in seasonal construction demand. Uh, however, copper still managed a modest two percent quarterly upside. as top copper smelters proposed a production cut amid tight uh, supply of raw materials uh, just a reminder that lme markets will now resume trading on april 2nd which is tuesday as it is also closed on april 1st monday for easter monday holiday so overall uh, if we summarize the first quarter it has been pretty uh, positive for uh, uh, you know uh, uh, commodities and equities alike and uh, it has showed resilience in the face of economic uncertainties with gold and oil leading the rally in commodities while equities reached new heights now that the us core pc figures which were highly anticipated have been released on good friday holiday and since it has met expectations more is likely to be composed when markets major markets open monday 
U.S. core PC increased 2.8 percent year on year and was up 0.3 percent month on month, matching estimates. While headline PC rose 0.3 percent month on month and 2.5 percent year on year. Although Fed's preferred inflation gauge remain above 2 percent target, it is unlikely to lead to any remarkable shift in Fed's outlook. Uh, as robust consumer spending of 0.8 percent showcased economic resilience despite higher borrowing costs in the U.S. Next week, U.S. jobs data is expected to grab the spotlight as hot labor market could trim the chances of a June rate cut further, while signs of cooling uh, labor market may prompt Fed to cut rates sooner to avoid an economic recession. Forecasts suggest an increase of 2,500,000 in U.S. non-farm payrolls in March, and unemployment rate is estimated to hold steady at 3.9%, while average hourly earnings may edge higher to 0.3% in March. Since sharp increase in NFP in February did not spark a favorable response in dollar owing to downward revisions in the prior months, traders will watch out for any such developments in update, upcoming update as well and will also uh, look out for uh, any uh, uptick in labor inflation or wage inflation. So on that note, we wrap up this edition of Commodity Audiocast and uh, we hope that we were able to provide you valuable insights. So thank you for tuning in today and we look forward to having you with us next week. Until then, happy trading. Thank you.